Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023 at the NEC in Birmingham and I'm on the Bailey stand. In this vlog I'm going to be giving you and myself a first look at the new Bailey Endeavour campervan conversion and the new Bailey Allura motorhome range which is just over here to my left hand side. So what we'll do is we'll make a start first of all on the Endeavour. So this is as I say a van conversion. It's based on the Ford chassis and cab. It has got a two litre diesel engine, 155 brake horsepower and it comes standard with automatic transmission. Now this colour is called chrome blue in both the models are chrome blue. It's the only choice you can get. There are two models to this and I'm going to show you both of them. There's the B62. So this here is the B62. It's six meters long and it's a two berth van conversion. The other model around the corner is the B64. That's six meters long and a four berth, but I'll come to that shortly. So we've gone through the engine. We've gone through the size. It's six meters long. This one has not got the pop top, this two berth, and it's about two meters and 80 centimeters in height. It is a three and a half ton motorhome, so you can drive this on your standard B car license. Payload, it's got a really good payload, about 627 kilos. So let's take a closer look. So as we can see, we've got this chrome blue color. We've got these sort of mountain decals on the side. The sliding panel door is on the left side. We get black alloy wheels and up on the roof, we've got a 100 watt solar panel. So if you're going off grid, you have got that. And we've got this three and a half meter two lay wind out canopy. I love the canopies. Right, let's make a start on opening the door. So although we can't see it, there is an electric step down here and this is the sliding panel door. Stand by, there we go. So if I just open that for us, now this model, the B62, this one is priced at £70,000. The other model is £75,000, the four berth, but we, as I say, we will come to that. So once we slide the door open, we, you can see here we have actually got the awning light uh, illuminated, so that's giving us plenty of light. This is obviously where the kitchen is, and we've got space here for our gas. This uh, fan conversion will take a six kilo gas bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to venture in. I'll just leap over here. So as I go in, now what we're going to get is we're going to get first of all the Ford cab that we can see. We've got a big 12 inch infotainment system. There's the automatic uh, gearbox stick as we can see and the two Bailey seats that do swivel round. We can see Bailey um, embossed on it there. This is quite a nice fabric to be fair. Now because this one isn't the pop top version but we're still getting some good headroom here. I like this. Um, on board, we do get a fresh water tank, a 100 litre fresh water tank and a 56 litre waste water tank. That's really good for a van conversion as far as I'm aware. Now here we've got some storage space. So let me just open this for us. We've got our little wardrobe here. There's a rail, so we've got some wardrobe space and there's a mirror here as well. So I quite like that little feature just on the side there. I'll just close that up. And then underneath we've got the Thetford uh, fridge freezer. This is 90 litres capacity. Um, so as you can see, we've got a good amount of um, space here. It is a little bit low down, so you do just have to bend down to get in there. Um, we've got some little um, shelves there and then the freezer compartment. So that's what we're getting in here. The control panel on the Endeavour is just above here. And there's a control for the Truma. If you're thinking about heating and hot water, this, this Endeavour has got the Truma diesel combi. It will run on diesel and it will also run on electric. So if you're on electric hookup, um, it will plug into that. And if you're off grid, it'll run off your diesel tank, which that's absolutely fantastic. Here we've got our sink, we've got our swivel tap, the hot and cold water. And then moving along, what I'll do is I'll just move this way as I show you these um, parts to it. We've got a Thetford gas burner there, three gas burners, and then we've got a combi oven and grill. What I'll do is I'll just get Jules to step in a little bit further um, while I show you these parts. So this is the Thetford combi oven grill. So that's if you fancy doing some cooking in the Endeavour. And then down here, we've got a storage cupboard. That's quite a good size actually. 
and in this one we are getting a little drawer here and some more storage as well i'm always gentle with stuff as you know that nearly just came off in my hand and then it looks like we've got a, a cupboard up here as well so storage space there and then onto the off side of the endeavor i'll just see I'll just give this a pull so as i slide this around we can see it together as i do it if you look into there this is where we've got the sink we've got our thetford toilet and we've got the shower space so it is quite a small space but at the end of the day this is a six meter long van conversion and you are actually getting um, what you want to get in here you're going to have to do a sort of a maneuver where you step in and then slide that around you but um, at least it's all in there so that's really good i'll just close that up and when it is closed what i like is we're getting this floor space here as you can see this is the runner for that sliding door so i feel like i've got plenty of space here and then as we come back we go into a lounge area and this is going to convert either in two singles and they're six foot three long or one big double bed and the double bed is six foot one wide and six foot three long so those are your sizes if you need to know those you can see we've got a television here so we can have television uh, here while we're away in the van conversion and then there's plenty um, of lockers all the way around um, is the locker space so plenty of storage for that big payload and we do have the sunroof we've got two sunroofs to let light in here i must say how what i think would look really nice as you can see the fabrics are sort of a blue color and it's a little bit um i don't know velour is that the word um i think this would look beautiful in some sort of faux leather maybe i'm wrong but like a gray faux leather or something like that but otherwise we've got blue right let's venture out um and we'll we'll just dive over here hopefully jules can follow me onto this step so that's the sick b62 i'll just come round the back now the back i love this this is beautiful so again we've got this um, chrome blue finish on the paint bailey endeavor these two windows at the back as we can see these do all have blinds for privacy i'll just open this up i'll just have to be careful because of this step i don't want to damage anything but you can see here it does open into the back this door opens as well and again we've got a little bit of storage just under there the water filler point i'm guessing could be down this side where the electric is, is is as well so it's an external water filler so let me close that and we'll now venture on to the b64 64 is four berth it's got four seat belts and it has got a double bed downstairs and it has has got as you can see up here the pop top so the other bed the double bed is up here in this pop top so let's just have a look now we can see straight away this is a completely different this is still six meters long your payload on this is 445 kilos so it is reduced from the 627 on the b62 price wise as i said before uh, 60 uh, this one's 75000 pounds you can see here we've got the button there to operate the electric step that i mentioned i really like electric steps um, now front we've got a front lounge on this model and i i'll be honest i do prefer this one straight away as soon as i've come into it i like how this is they've got longer seating here we've still got this same blue fabric it feels quite a really nice and open plan here because we've got the pop top there's actually a ladder that will connect here and then you'll climb up into this and the double bed is up there so the bonus with this is even if you're just a couple two people because you've got a pop top you don't have to make your bed up um, on a night time you can literally just climb up there as long as you're agile so venturing back into the b64 we've got a little flap here with some um well I see they've, they've made an effort but unless you've got a really small arm you're not going to be doing much um, in there i don't think we've got some good worktop space i like this we've got a kitchen window three gas burners the thetford uh, oven again various as we can see here various little drawers here this seems much more practical i, I like this one I'm, as you know i you know i would say how i find it i like that We've got the Thetford under counter again, the 90 litre fridge and freezer just under there. Got various cupboards up here. Let's just have a little quick nosy in these. So opening those up. Oh, so that's really good. 
The aerial's coming in there as well. And as I say, they've got 100 watt solar panels and that Vision Plus aerial. And then the bathroom on this one is on this side. Let me, oh, we've got a big mirror here, which um, you don't particularly need to see, but I'll just mention that. And then we've got this slide. I don't know if you can just see in there with the camera. This is probably a little bit fiddly to get in and out of. I'd have to get my head around this one to make it look easier than it, I'm looking, making it look. But sink, toilet, set for toilet, um, and that privacy screen. And this looks like a wardrobe. Yeah, so wardrobe space here. There seems to be light switches dotted around everywhere. There's some up there. I know these do come with USBs as well. Let's have a look under here. So another little cupboard there as well. So sleeping space, as I say, this converts into a double for two berths and this converts uh, up when the top's up into um, two berths as well. Right, I'll just reassemble the Bailey. So we had, a, we had a cushion malfunction. There we go. See, it's like it never happened. Right, let me venture back out. We'll just have a quick look around the back end um, of the B64. But otherwise, we know how big it is. We know how much it is. We know how much payload we're getting um, and it's, uh, yeah, I really like it to be fair. Let's just come around the back on this. So on this one, there's no window in this door, but there is a window in this door. We've got, this is the table, because there is a table that goes into the um, lounge area. That's your winder here for the canopy. Um, and that's the back end. So yeah, the only thing, if you're wanting to take, I'd have to have a bit of a closer look for storage for things like your table and chairs, you know, for sitting out and stuff. But that is the Endeavour. So we've got the B62, the B64. And like I say, I like those. I'd rather have leather fabric. I think leather in that because it looks modern, it's funky. I just want some leather to finish that off. Um, and that's the only sort of thing I've got to say about that. Right, what we're going to do now is head on to the Allura Motorhomes. Now the Allura Motorhome range, there's three models in the range. And again, this is brand new for 2024. This is my first time looking at them with you. They are seven meters long. The three models are seven meters long and they're more of a compact motorhome. They're 2.1 meters in actual width. And so what if we just come up this end, now, what, when, it's, when it's narrower, you'll see the wing mirrors are not as extended as they would be on the Adamo. They're shorter here. And on the coach built, it doesn't protrude further out from the door. So that's why these are a lot more agile and nimble, these sort of motorhomes. And they're really popular. If you're concerned about narrow lanes or you've got a tight driveway, something like this could be for you. So I say a Laura range. So this is the 69.4S. Um, these are all around 75 and a half thousand pounds. Um, they are three and a half ton motorhomes, so you can drive all of these on your category B license, and they all have a payload of 500 kilos. So that's brilliant. And they've got these garages. So let's start having a look. They're on the Ford Cab, the two liter diesel engine. They all have 130 brake horsepower and they all come as manual as standard. If you want automatic, it's an extra £2,000, but you can have that as an option. So we can see the front here of the Allura. It's similar to the Adamo, but a bit more of a, you know, a slimline version. It's its, it's, it's slimmer relative. We've got alloy wheels, a standard there in black, and we've got these silver sides and these black decals. Um, I quite like this, I must say. So let's go in and say, this is the S model. Um, let's venture in. So the door is on the near side as we go in. Oh, this is really nice, actually. So we're coming in. I'll just take a seat to talk to you. So we've got these um, sort of oatmeal-y fabrics. We've got this huge table, which is like a marble effect. The two Bailey chairs. This, as you can see, there's the manual gear stick there. Um, if you had automatic, say that's £2,000. This is nice. We've got the um, Allura band. We've got these little lights. Storage above. Good size sunroof there. Good size sunroof above me. Now on this S uh, layout, we're finding we've got a television bracket here. So obviously we can have our TV. There's a plug in there for it. We've got these little fabric boards here and we've got blinds and fly screens all round. This here um, is going to convert into a bed. So this is going to give you two berths of the four berths that this motorhome is going to give you. I really like this. The only thing I don't like, and this is a personal thing, 
I just don't like these curtains. That's just that's just my thing. Um, but otherwise, absolutely lovely up here. I'm going to move now into the kitchen area. So let me stand in, up here. So kitchen, first of all, we come in, we've got a mirror here. We've got our control panel up there for water. I don't know details on the fresh water and wastewater tanks because they weren't on the um, on the website and this is my first look at them. So hopefully the website will be updated. I'll put a link in the description below and you can find out all about it. So sorry, I don't have all those details to hand. This kitchen, so the kitchen's on the near side. We've got a good size flap here for utility space as well as that massive table. We've then got some worktop space here, the sink, plug sockets, the control for the Truma heating and hot water, three gas burners and electric. Then we've got the dual uh, oven and grill there from Thetford. We've got a nice little drawer space here. We've got cupboard space underneath. This is massive. Let's see if I can just whip this open. That feels nice as well. These are strong hinges. Yeah, I like those. Loads of space there. And then what I'll do, the way I'll do it is I'll feed round here into the bed and then we'll look at the bathroom last. So as you can see on the S you get this side bed. This is massive. This is a massive double bed. There's some cupboards at the back. There's another sunroof here. We do have a privacy curtain just here. I can understand why obviously you'd have that. So privacy curtain there and then some more um, sort of drawer and cupboard space. Oh wow, look at these. So this is like a wardrobe. It's got a little rail there. Uh, drawer space, a little bit more space under there. Yeah, so that 500 kilo payload, uh, brilliant. Um, we've got a Thetford tower fridge freezer. This is about 140, 142 litres. That's your freezer compartment, uh, all the um, shelving in there. And then we come round to the bathroom. There will be a light in here, but I don't know where it is just straight away, so I won't waste time looking. Slide this sink to the side for a more spacious shower. Let's do that. All right, okay. So that slides across over your toilet. There is a, a shower uh, curtain. Your shower head's there. You have a shower in that space. So you compromise in this is the bathroom space. But when you slide it across, you've got your shower there and your Thetford swivel toilet there. Lots of hooks, uh, privacy screen. Yeah, I like this. So this is the 69 for S model, 70, call it 76,000. Let's round things up, not down. Right, let's venture out and find the next model on the Allura range. Oh, I'll just show you the garage on this one as well. Um, we'll have a closer look at the exterior on a couple of the other ones, but garage space, as you can see, really good size. Um, yeah, and we've got some drawers here as well. It is heated, I can see a Truma vent there. Um, it looks like it's got pre-installation for a two-lay bike rack really nice we'll just have a look at uh, this back end and then we'll move on to the next one so you can see here the back end we've got a reversing camera here's the bike rack installation these little light clusters um, and as i say 2.1 meters uh, wide right let's move on lovely right okay so here we go it does actually it feels really spacious in there uh, jules is just adding his little bit there Right, this is the 69.4i. I stands for island bed. So I won't go around the whole of the outside again, but we can see we've got our toilet cassette on this side, on the near side here. If you wanted an awning, you can have an awning fitted. Um, that would obviously be something your dealer could do. Uh, I don't know whether they do that as a factory fitted option, but otherwise your dealer can do that for you. There's an awning light. We'll just look, have a quick look at the garage on this one and then dive in. So again, really good sized garage. We can see uh, the gas is there. I'm guessing that's going to be a six litre, uh, six kilo, sorry, six kilo gas bottle. Lovely, right. Come on then, let's go and have a look inside this one. Right, so a little bit of a step up. So this one, the lounge, we've got the good size table again. These are slightly uh, shorter uh, sofas because we've got an island bed as opposed to that transverse uh, bed. We lose a bit in here, but again, it, it does feel spacious. There's loads of headroom as well. In this model, the control panel's above the door, and then we've actually got a television bracket just here. This is the Lippet system here, so you're going to plug in there. We've then got a mirror there, and we find our kitchen here. So we've got a flap again, our plug sockets, our kitchen sink, the Thetford appliance. I'll just move this way. I'll step up. We've got the big 
fridge freezer. I do love, this is my favorite. This is what I've got, a Thetford Tower fridge freezer. Absolutely love it. Never had a single problem with any Thetford appliance that I've had. Um, let's look at the bed first. So behind me, I've got some light switches here. I've then got some wardrobe space. Yep, that's on either side. They are small, I'll be totally honest, but we've got a compromise. We're talking about smaller motorhomes here. We've got this nice headboard. We've got some lovely little cushions. I love that these feel really nice. These are lovely. The island bed, I don't know the size. I'm guessing when pulled out, it could be six foot one to six foot three, but check the website for when everything goes online. But you do pull that out, but at the moment, loads of space. And then we've got this same, exact same washroom, but on, on obviously this side and the sink's moving that way. I like that. That is a really clever idea. Really clever. That's very innovative. So that is that, is that one. Right, let's crack on. Um, what we'll do now is we'll head on. I'll let Jules back out. There he goes. He's doing well, bless him. Um, let's hold on to the third model. So that one is the island bed and this one, oh, this one is 77 and a half thousand pounds. Still seven meters long, still three and a half tons and still a 500 kilo payload. So last but not least, we've got the T model, the 69.4T. T stands for twin beds basically with Bailey and this one's 77 and a half thousand pounds as well. Again, a four berth, got the garage, we've got We've got the aerial. I don't know much more about solar or anything like that because I haven't got that um, available. But let's dive in and let's go have a look at this layout here. So as I come in, so this is ve very much the same basically as what we've just seen in the island bed model. We've got the same lounge. This will convert into a bed and make two berths. We've got the same front, obviously. This one's actually got the automatic gearbox fitted that I've seen there. So that's a £2,000 extra if you wanted auto. Personally, I would always go for automatic. You are driving a van, not a car. So remember that that automatic gearbox makes a major difference when driving a motorhome. The TV bracket's the same as the island bed model. The kitchen's in the same place. Again, we've got these lovely drawers. We've got cupboard space. I mean, these cupboards, are, I love this finish. This is really nice. Yeah, really nice. We've got the Thetford um, fridge freezer there. And then I'll step back. As you can see here, we've got this privacy screen. And then we've got the twin beds. I don't know how long these are. They look I don't know, again, six foot two, six foot three. I don't know off the top of my head. Visit the website. Um, we've got some nets. We've got some blinds, fly screens. But yeah, they seem a good width. There's a reasonable amount of floor space. There's the little steps. There's obviously some storage under here. Hopefully it won't just spring up and hit me in the face. But, oh, cool. Oh, so I see. So it's not storage. What you do with this is you pull this out and this is a cushion that's going to extend all the way out here and this will become a huge queen bed in effect but a huge double bed so that's what that is that's good that's, that's innovative again i've not seen that design before i'll just try and strap it down for when people come to view it in the show oh, maybe i won't i'll leave it i'll leave it right mirror got a mirror at the back there's no cupboard space here um, that's lacking a bit. I'm guessing it might be under, yeah, there's something here, look. Let's have a quick look here. So there is some storage there. So that's, the compromise in this twin model then is basically clothing storage. That's what I'll say. Um, so you've got under there. Then we've got, again, this little washroom here on the near side of the Allura. Let's just pull that again, just so we can see it in action. And the Thetford Loo and Mm, I'm just wondering as well about storage in here um, because I don't think that, oh, there's a little bit of some storage under there. But yeah, you, toiletries, I know you could put them on that shelf, but when you were driving, they might fly all over the place. So that's an interesting one. Um, the only thing so I'm going to say about in here is storage for your toiletries. Right, let's dive out and have a quick, a quick round up. Right, out we go. So that is the Allura range, brand new for 2024. It's a seven meter long compact motorhome. It's narrower. They're all three models are on the Ford cab and chassis with that two liter diesel engine, 130 brake horsepower. 
prices are varying as we saw from the um, 69.4 S uh, and then going up into the Island and the twin models. I like these. I think they look nice. They've got a nice feel inside them. They're well equipped. They've been well thought out. So yeah, that is the uh, Endeavour that we saw and the Allura. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed having a look uh, with me. Thank you to Bailey Bristol that have just let me run around on their stand. I really appreciate that. I think I'll wrap it up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.